Why going to bed is hard with ADHD, part four. A lot of times we have uncertainty about what are the steps I even need to do to get into bed. There ends up being a lot of back and forth. I forgot to brush my teeth and I forgot to floss. And so we get back out of bed and run back and forth and back and forth. And sometimes we exhaust our partners. Sometimes this is added to by having anxiety about not sleeping. So we need to get more things to make sure that we can sleep better. So if I have anxiety that I'm gonna wake up so thirsty, I'll have to go get up and then I won't be able to go back to sleep. Then one of the other things I need to do is get water. And this can make that list of, oh, I forgot, really, really long. And it's even easier to put off starting going to bed. And all that back and forth is made worse if we don't have something like a bedtime checklist to look over to make sure we do have everything we need. And on top of all of the things I've mentioned in this and all of the other videos, Folks with ADHD are also more likely to have actual sleep disorders. I know, it sucks. If you think there's even a small chance that, that might be you and you might have a sleep disorder, talk to your doctor. Some of them actually have some really serious health implications and you don't wanna wait. Okay, what is the reason that you find it hard to go to bed?